All right. So now, now that we have all basic functionality working, we'll introduce timer in our existing functionality, right? But before that, let's quick refresh this Remix URL. So with this, we will be able to receive 100 Ethereum back in our each account. Let's open our smart contract. We'll need to declare two variables. First variable will be start time of this auction. And then the second variable hold value of end time of the auction. Let's quickly format this code. Okay, so now it is looking pretty decent now. Now in Solidity, there is no default functionality of timers. So we cannot differentiate two dates like we do in any other programming languages. So for that reason, we'll have to take help of epoch time format. So now this is nothing but a clock which is running from 1970 I guess and from that date it is continuously updating every single second so here is online epoch converter and as you can see here it is continuously updating with every single second so we are going to use this format and as you can see this value is in integers itself so we'll be able to fulfill all, all requirements through this right Okay, so now our start timer will be the time when we will deploy our smart contract. So let's search global variables one more time. And inside of this global variable, we will be able to see when this block got created. So this will be our start time because whenever we will deploy our smart contract, we want to start executing all the operations that we have declared inside of this, right? So now, so we just need to decide end time of this auction so for that reason let's declare one function and through that function we will update value of end timer so let's declare a function and let's give it a name put end time and the value that we will pass will be unsigned integer now this function will be public and okay so it will not return anything now simply update value of end time here that's pretty much it all right so now as soon as we will call this function we will update this end time so now since we have both value ready we'll need to add a few more conditions in put bid function so let's say our end time is should be always greater than the current time because if the current time is lesser than the end time then and then only we will consider that our auction is still running right so block dot timestamp should be greater than end time and if that is the case we will return auction is ended if i save this we receive error this is because the semicolon was missing and everything should work now so let me quickly select any account let's deploy this contract and here we have one more function ready all right so let's select count and try to put some ethereums in our smart contract now since we have timer which is zero it should have restricted this transaction but be able to successfully proceed this transaction and this is all because this condition is wrong our end time should be greater than the current timestamp right let's quickly deploy one more time and see okay so let me select let's say i want to pass two oh it is saying well you cannot be auction is ended now this is working completely fine right so now we will need to put end time of this contract first of all refresh this page and let's say i want to continue this contract up to 59 minutes so here is our epoch and let's copy this and put it here and simply call this put end time function now if i try to put new bid well it is still giving me error saying bid amount cannot be zero let's select another account and try to put new bid amount so if i put 4 ethereum now and try one more time let's put this bid 
Okay, so bid is executed. This means a timer condition is also passed. So let's say if I try to put 6 Ethereum now, it is accepting that as well. Now to just to check our timer conditions working completely fine or not, let's simply copy this. This is the current time and by the time we will put this value there, it is already invalidated. That means it is already done. Okay, so now we simply changed our end time and our end time is lesser than the current timestamp so it, it should reject our transaction now let's try this okay so as you can see here we received a message saying auction is ended so now our all conditions are working completely fine we also able to add timers in our auction